Harmonize the notes of a harmonic minor scale and you get a lot of interesting arpeggios and we've got an etude based on them. So we're going to start up here. So this is over A minor, major 7, but we're not really outlining anything interesting here. We're just starting up here on the E, that's the fifth away from the root of this chord. And we're just going like this. Finger number wise, we're using one finger per fret and going 3, 4, 3, 1. What I'm doing here, when I play the A on the 7th fret, I'm just playing behind the crease a little bit higher up, or further down actually, than I normally would, which would be the fingertip. And that's because you can then do this. Just do a little roll to the next note. And as you're doing that, bring your little finger to the 8th fret of the E string. It's the same notes as here. So very slowly. Then a little shift down one fret, we've got a G sharp diminished. And it's very easy to play on a bass, it's just minor thirds all the way. Fingers one, four, shift up one, four, shift up one, four, and one more time. This is just a, a standard F major seven arpeggio, you get that from the major scale as well. We end with a triad. Something you hear a lot on bass. Then shift that down. So over the E7 we're just playing a root, a major third and a fifth. But it's an E7. Now we've got a D minor seven. So that's D minor seven there. So we've got fingers one, four, three, one. That's playing a root, a flat third, a fifth, and a flat seven. Make sure you know that. And that G sharp. That's the kind of controversial note in the scale. That's what gives it the flavor and the vibe. So we've got that in there. And then we've got B minor seven, flat five to E seven. Just two beats there. That's a minor 2-5-1 by the way, you hear that a lot in jazz. And then the last, second to last bar, we've got a, running down an A minor. Just an A minor arpeggio. I'll, I'll, let me back up a bit actually, I'll show you how I'm playing this. So this is the B minor 7 flat 5. Fingers 3, 1, 4, 3. And then moving the first finger to the 6th fret of the D string. And there's a little shift to the 5th fret there. And at this point here, this is how I'm doing it. It's not probably textbook, but I'm going 3rd finger, 2nd finger, and then little finger, 1st finger. You could use the 3rd finger and roll. Lots of ways of playing the same thing. If you find something, go for it. Then I'm going to shift across to the C. We've got a C plus. That's augmented. C augmented major seven. I told you there are some interesting arpeggios in this scale, and there sure are on the third degree of the scale. We've got this C augmented major seven. It's nearly a, a normal major seven. with the fifth augmented, that means raised. Shouldn't really say normal, it just is what it is. The major scale you're gonna hear a lot more in most styles of music, and this is a, probably a little bit more specialized. Okay, that last chord, a little bit James Bond-esque, so you've got the open A, and then a, kind of a double stop above it, which is two notes at the same time, but it, since this is three notes, that is a chord, right? You've got your second finger on the sixth fret, that's the G sharp and you've got first finger on the C. So that's like a minor third up the octave. 
this is a major seven. That's that's why it's that minor major thing, because it's got both. It gives that kind of tense, interesting sound. So that's it. Just make sure you download the PDF and the backing track for free and just go through it. It's really fun. As a little added bonus, you could try and work out the chord shapes and like go A minor seven, G sharp diminish, F major seven, E dominant seven, D minor seven, and you've got the B minor seven flat five to the E seven. You've got A minor chord. C major seven, that if you want to get the the sharp five or the augmented fifth. So if you wanted to work out how to do that, go for it. I've got a load of bass exercises and etudes on this channel, including this one here. So if you want another one a bit like this with a backing track, go and watch that one now.